Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over A Momentary Lapse of Reason by uh, Pink Floyd. Now, this was released in 1987, but it originally started recording, or they started working on it in 1985, I believe. But it was delayed a few times and they had so many different problems because Roger Waters sued them as he felt they couldn't use the Pink Floyd name. Uh, but eventually, I'm sure some money got exchanged, but eventually Roger Waters got all the stuff for the wall. All the rights, all the money went to Roger Waters for the wall. And they were allowed to use the Pink Floyd name. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste your time. And I'm not going to, you know, do the whole usual video I do. Because this album is a stinker. This album is, so Umaguma. That was a four minute video I did. Uma Guma's bad. That is a shit album. This album's not bad, but it's also not good. It's just eh, you know? It's really bland, but it's weird. And you, you're gonna think I'm lying or think I'm crazy, but side one is the, the okay side. Side two is bland, it's as really, really bland and mediocre. Uh, so it starts with Signs of Life, which is this really melodic, kind, kind of beautiful opening track with the sounds of this barge. Uh, they did a lot of recording of this album on this uh, longboat barge. Uh, I, you might have to be British to know what that is. I don't know. Maybe they have them in America. They're probably bigger in America. Anyway, uh, Signs of Life is all right. And then Learning to Fly, which was the big hit single from this album. And it is a great song. I love the guitars. I love the lyrics about just being yourself and learning to conquer whatever's in your way. It is That's the one really good song. From, well, there's two good songs from this album. That's one of them. Uh, the Dogs of War is really heavy and I, I do really enjoy it. The Dogs of War! The way David Gilmour sings it is superb. Um, and I love the way uh, there's an instrumental... Oh, what's the word? Uh, just the the instrumental is brilliant. And the way it builds up is fantastic. I really enjoy it. And then that sort of... Um, what's that? I can't think of the words today. It sort of bleeds into the song One Slip, which is all about how... Well, it's all about gambling and a gambling addiction. Now, gambling addiction is really serious. And it's something that... Okay, maybe, maybe not a full gambling addiction, but... It is something that I've dealt with in the past. Uh, it's really easy. If you know you could make money and you have an app on your phone, it's really easy to get a bit, you know, excited and keep doing it, even though you keep losing money. Uh, gambling is hard to get out of, but the song is about how once you start gambling, if you're a recovering addict and you start again, it's only one slip and then you're back in it. It's a huge problem and I do... You know, I know a lot of people struggle with gambling addiction. It's a beautiful song. On the Turning Away is the other really good song from the album. I love the guitar riff on that song. That is one of David Gilmour's best guitar riffs. Brilliant. Or the guitar solo too. Fantastic. And his vocals sound amazing. They're really punchy. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the bit where the instrumental drops out. And it's just David Gilmour's vocals. That's fantastic. And then side two. Uh, yet another movie is awful. Uh, around and around. Uh, I one, all the songs seem to blend into one mass of crap. But one of these songs has this really cheesy 80s electronic voice. You know, like something from the Ghostbusters. And it sounds really dated and dull and... It's just, it's just, it makes me laugh. I, I listened to this album today before I filmed this because I knew I didn't like it. So I wanted to give it another chance to grow on me, but it didn't. I have the same problems I've always had with it. And honestly, it's not just me. Uh, I've seen loads of reviews for this album and people online saying exactly the same thing. Um, a New Machine, part one and two, aren't great. Terminal Forest is a bit bland. And the closing track, Sorrow, is boring. Uh, but I do like the album cover. And I believe the first few beds are actual physical beds. And then they edit it in, all the other ones. 
and I love the dogs and the hand glider, which is really cool. Because in the video for learning to fly, obviously the dogs are for the song, uh, Dogs of War, but in the video for learning to fly, there is a guy with a par it's parasol, he is a parasol. And of course, <laughs> those 80s haircuts, brilliant. And I, I just, yeah, there's more, because it was recorded in a barge on the waterfront. But it's just a bland album. And it's a shame because, spoiler warning, their next album in the 90s, The Division Bell, is spectacular. Uh, but this album, I'm just not a fan. It's really not a fan. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Join me next time. The video will be a lot better because I love that album. And take care, everyone. Uh -huh.